Servo drive repair process at Repair Zone. For this process, our technician will use a customer's Allen Bradley 1391B drive. Hello, I'm one of the electronic technicians here at Repair Zone. Today I'm going to explain our reef manufacture process. Normally when your drive comes in for repair, we would perform static tests to see if anything's shorted or any obvious damage, and then put your drive on a test cart to test the operations and see if we can duplicate your problems. But in a case of a drive like this with heavy contamination, the first thing we want to do is completely disassemble it and wash your drive with an environmentally safe cleaner to remove any contaminants that will cause problems when power is applied to the drive. During the washing process, we visually inspect all components of the drive for any physical or heat related damage so that we can give those areas special attention to check for any possible damage. Once the excess water is blown off, we place the drive in the oven to dry it for several hours to be sure that all the water has been removed from the components. The drive comes out of the oven is when we start the repair process of replacing any components we identified as an issue and we also replace any components that we have seen as a common failure on the drives including electrolytic capacitors and fans. Then we perform as many static tests as we can on each of the individual circuits as part of our repair process. Once the prayer is completed, we assemble the drive, place it on the test stand, where we try and simulate as many functions of your machine as possible, including we actually run a motor with the drive before we ship it out. Once the drive has passed all of our test processes, it's sent over to the shipping department who will package it up to send it off to another satisfied customer. We take your downtime seriously at Repair Zone.